Why not make a delicious looking pretend pizza? Tasty. Let's make it. We'll need some things from the doodle drawers. <laughs> Two pieces of cardboard, an old newspaper, and a pencil. Some sticky tape and some gloopy PDA glue. A large plate and some tissue paper. And some paint. Hello! Hey, now to make your very own pretend pizza, like this one here. You need to start with a nice piece of large cardboard like this. And we're going to make the pizza base. So let's draw around something that's round like this plate. That should give us a nice circle shape, which is our pizza base. Now we're going to cut this out, but be careful because scissors are sharp. Ooh. <laughs> now this is a bit tricky, so you might want to ask an adult to help you. Next, we're going to make the pizza's crust. That's this bit around the edge here. And for that, we need a sheet of newspaper. And we're going to roll it up like this. And then twist it like this. <laughs> there we go. And we're going to bring our base back in and bend and stick it around the edge to make the crust like this. Now, as you can see, you're going to need more than one piece of newspaper to make sure that your crust fits all the way around your circle shape. Let's stick it on. There's the pizza's crust. But now it's time for the tasty toppings. Oh, you can put whatever toppings you like on your pizza. How about pepperoni slices? So let's get another piece of card, like this, and once again draw around something that's round, like this roll of sticky tape. And how about we also draw some oval olives? Oh yes, very tasty. You can even add some pieces of ham and green peppers, which are just strips of card and squares of card. Now very carefully cut all of your pieces out. Once you've cut out lots of toppings, use gloopy glue to stick them onto your pizza base. Now we need to make a special gloopy mixture that's half gloopy glue and half water. Let's give it a mix. And spread this gloopy mixture all over the pizza. Now we can add a layer of ripped up pieces of tissue paper on top. Now this doesn't have to be neat. And when you've finished, you can even add another layer of the gloopy mixture to make sure it's all stuck down. When it's dry, all that's left to do is paint it. Start by painting the pizza crust first, which is a light brown colour. Then add red paint for the tomato sauce and some yellow on top for cheese. Last of all, paint your tasty toppings. Let's get painting! Remember to start with the brown crust. And there you have it, your very own pretend pizza. But you don't just have to stop there. You can make all